Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Controls and welcome to my first video. Today's video is going to be about my home security camera system, my Lorex NVR and all of it together. This is going to be a non very specific video about the camera setup and the NVR. A couple videos of my quality of the cameras, just an overview if you're interested in any home security camera, just your just a brief review of the Lorex system. If you're interested in a more specific review of the camera system and the NVR that I have, just leave a comment below and I'll try to make a video about it. So we'll jump right into looking at the setup that I have of my NVR and my whole network rack. Okay, so here we are looking at the main Lorex website where we have the network video recorder or the current network video recorder I have in my system. Um, this is a 4K 16 channel with smart motion detection and voice control. Um, I'm not going to get very specific on the details about this NVR. If you want to, if you want to view more specific details, the links will be in the description. Uh, other than that, it does come with three terabytes and additional drive, uh, additional slot for a hard drive. So this is my setup here with the network cabinet up top and the screen below, so I can configure any issue or any cameras, or if I have any issues with the system, I can easily access the direct link there. Here you can see the Lorex NVR along with some other components in my network cabinet. Uh, this is not supposed to be, uh, or at least it doesn't give the ability to be rack mounted, but it fits on a rack mount shelf pretty nicely and it sits shell, uh, pretty flush. Uh, I've got some plastic there, might as well remove it. Also, if you're interested in a separate video on my network cabinet, just let me know in the comments, but most likely I'll end up doing a separate video on it. So overall, this NVR is great. I gotta say, it's I have no issues other than may, maybe small minor software issues that can easily be changed with a firmware upgrade. Uh, like being able, so right now I have a PTZ camera and in order to control it from my NVR, so from the screen in the network cabinet or below the network cabinet there, I have to enter my password every single time, which is, it's kind of uh, annoying, but I don't really use it from there often. I use it from the app, uh, either on my phone or on my computer, which we'll, we'll look at in a little bit. But that, on the app, you're not prompted to enter your password. So, But just, just something simple like that. But overall, everything about this is really good. Um, I do have plans to upgrade the hard drive size, maybe to double uh, the current three terabytes. So maybe six or more, we'll see. But um, I also have plans in the future to tie it into my Apple TV so I can have it on my TVs uh, as well. All right, so we're gonna do a quick overview of the cameras currently in my set uh, setup. This 2K camera, I currently have two of these dome cameras located at my front door and in my garage. As you can see in this footage here, it's uh, it's pretty good quality as you would expect from, from 2K. It's more than enough to view faces and license plates. Uh, it's also got a pretty good field of view, uh, 96 degrees as stated here. It's got 135 feet of night vision, so that's, I haven't really experienced that, so I can't, I can't say if that's true or not, but uh, as you can see here, I've got this uh, junction box, so I purchased one of these just to see how it works, and it actually worked out really well. Um, also, just so some of these you won't see the prices. I believe that's because it's they're out of stock currently. As this is a new product, but they're currently out of stock in a lot of items, just because I'm assuming because of COVID-related um, product issues or manufacturing issues. But here we'll move over to the 4K camera, the bullet camera I got. This footage you see is excellent footage. It's uh, better than I need. Really, you could see very very fine details. This camera also includes the, it's a four times optical zoom, but I don't really use it because you got to have it directed in the exact area you want to, if you want to take advantage of that optical zoom. I find it more beneficial if you want to just set the camera and zoom it maybe two times and then just leave it like that just to avoid any uh, walls or something that might get in the way of the IR sensor and kind of blur or um, brighten out the night, the uh, night vision. Okay, so here's the 2K 12x optical zoom PTZ camera. 
And as you can see, I've located it up on a tower, uh, antenna tower here, just to take advantage of the full function of the camera. The, uh, this camera is excellent. Uh, you can see the zoom capability, while it holds the quality, is way better than I've expected. Uh, the quality of this camera also is this is really good. It's solid. He it's heavy, so that like that's just a giveaway right there. It's I've been using it for a few months now, and I've had no issues, um, no issues with the motor, nothing like that. I gotta say the night vision is definitely not 330 feet color night vision, but it's it's pretty good nonetheless. Um, it's better than I expected, especially for a residential uses. Um, I don't really see this being used at a residence, but it's more of a commercial application, but it's kind of nice to have just a view around your whole property. So here's the desktop application called Larix Cloud. This app lets you view just all your cameras on a separate application on your computer. It also allows for PTZ functions, so you could select like a preset location when you set them on your PTZ camera, and you just have to click one button, it'll automatically go to where you have it set. So looking at the application on the phone, uh, this one's on an iPhone. It's pretty good. It allows, you, it allows a lot of features like playback and device manager, but it's exactly what you want and I can access this from anywhere as long as I have an internet connection. This app also allows for PTZ functions from your phone anywhere as well. So you can be anywhere and you'll have full functionality for PTZ. Just in case you noticed, these junction boxes here I have the Lorex cameras mounted to. This is not really part of a review, but it's just something that really helped in the installation, made things a lot easier and smoother. Although it might have taken a lot more, like a little bit more time to install just because I had to make the holes and everything for these. It's just, I'm thinking ahead for future. If I ever want to change these cameras out, this would allow easy access to any of the wiring inside and it would just, all it would be is a quick quick replacement of this lid that secures the junction box and it's waterproof as well and also for the future when I decide to move this the box itself will stay and I'll put a flat lid here and I'll seal any of the cat5 wiring coming from the NVR to go in here and I'll be able to label everything just just for to make it easier for the next homeowners this junction box here was just it's pretty cheap 14 bucks compared to the 30 uh, somewhat dollar of the junction box that comes from Lorax. And I think it's just an easier way to go. As, as you can see, is I got some conduit just to keep everything sealed. Like every, everything watertight and weathertight just to make things last longer. That's, that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any more questions, you can just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer any more detailed questions you have, more specific questions about these cameras.